Welcome to the homework for lesson 11. This is module 2 of grade 1. Write your name here first. Look, and we're going to look at some of this student work. We're going to find some broken math. And uh, when we, wherever we find broken math, um, we're going to fix it. So Todd has nine red cars and seven blue cars. How many cars does he have all together? That's the question. So let's see how Mary did it. Mary had nine red cars, so those must be the red cars there. I would like to have an R for red. You don't have to mark that up. That's okay. And then the seven blue cars should be, I see a five group row, one more. That's six and one more seven. So she drew nine. She drew seven. She didn't label them, but I'm only going to whine so much about that. 9 plus 7 equals 16, all right? And you can count them all. That's 10, and then 6 more, 16. That all works. That's all good. In Joe's work, you might see it right off that uh, he's adding 9, but he's got 1 and a 5 adding up to 7. And 7 needs 1 and 6. So we got to fix his number bond here. It should be 9 plus 7 are the right numbers. But 7 should be 1 and 6. And so then that should be 16, not 15. And Len's work here, he drew, uh, it looks like he drew 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then he, he finished his 10 here with a black dot. And then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he did draw, draw nine and then seven more and he got 16. So we'll leave him alone. He's fine. Number two, Jill has eight beta fish and five goldfish. If you have an aquarium, some pet fish, there's a good, pretty good chance some of them are beta fish. How many fish does she have in total? All right, so we have eight. Frank's work here, he shows there's five and three more that's eight so those are the beta fish and then you should have five more one two three four five so that's everything you should have eight plus five thirteen that all looks good for frank let's look at Lori's work Lori took a number bond approach and uh, she split up the eight into two fours. Well, that's good. Two fours do equal eight, but there's no way to make 10 here. So it doesn't really make sense why she would do that. Uh, and she said eight plus five equals 13, but down here she wrote eight plus five equals 14. So it looks like she just kind of counted on in her head maybe. It's just hard to tell. There's, there's no picture. It's hard to tell why she wrote 13 here and 14 there. Well, let's just fix it. Uh, 8 plus 5. If she's going to use number bonds, you would want to make 10 with something. Either get a 5 out of the 8 or a 2 out of the 5. Like that. 5 should be 2 and 3. Right? And there's your 10. 10 and 3, 13. It should be 8 plus 5 equals 13. Now maybe she got confused. It's hard to tell. Uh, with broken math sometimes maybe she figured out that she split this up and she had a 10 and then the other one is a 4 so that's 14 who knows it's difficult to tell when there's no labels so here's Mike's work and he see right here he drew uh, 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then 5 goldfish 1 2 3 4 5 so these were the goldfish probably and these were the beta fish and then he just figured, oh, there's two fives. That makes 10 and three more, 13. He's fine too. And we just have a few more of this. Um, Dad baked seven chocolate and six vanilla cupcakes. How many cupcakes did he bake in all? So here are Mary's work. Five and two more, that's seven. So that has to be the chocolate ones. And then six vanilla cupcakes. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She drew too many vanilla cupcakes. There should only be seven vanilla cupcakes. She drew seven and seven. And then wrote down that she 
wrote down 7 plus 6, but she drew 7 plus 7 and counted 7 plus 7. That's why she has 14 for an answer. So let's fix her picture. She started off right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because it's 7 and 6 more, right? So there's your 10, 13. So she should say 13 equals 7 plus 6 if we're going to write it in a backwards number sentence the way she wrote it. And here's Joe's work. He drew in five group rows, he drew 6, 1, 1. There's 6, 5, and 1 more. And then 5 and 2 more for his 7. And he found his 10, found his 10 frame, and then three others, 10 plus 3, 13. That works. And Lori's work, she needed a 3 to add to the 7. She split up her 6 and got the 3 there. 3 and 3 do make 6, so that's a good number bond. There's her 10 and 3 more, 13. It all works right there. Lori's got everything she needs. Nothing to fix there. Number 4. Mom caught 9 fireflies and Sue caught 8 fireflies. How many fireflies did they catch all together? So in Mike's work, he's got, these are nine, so those must be moms. And Sue caught eight, so that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got, the picture makes sense. And he counted it as t a group of 10 and seven more for 17. Lens work has nine, right? That's nine. These are all moms up here. And then the bottom row are Sue's. So that's nine. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. <clears throat> and seven. So you're not looking at this right. Let's see. Let's take another look at this. It's not labeled, so sometimes it's hard to tell. You got to look at it some more. Um, nine fireflies. So these say these dark ones here are mom's nine, right? Because that's five and four more. That's a nine group. And Sue caught eight more, so that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's eight, and those are Sue's. So those numbers are right, the picture matches, and we have 10 with 5 and 2 more, 7, 10 and 7, 17, so 9 plus H equals 17, there's nothing wrong with lens work. Frank's work, let's see, he's got some number bonds, and he's got 9 and 1 making 10, good, but he's got 1 plus 8 making 8. Now, 8 can't be 1 plus 8. It has to be one plus what's one less than eight. It should this should this should be a seven. So we're gonna rewrite it. And we're gonna make ten with that nine. So there's that one. It should be one and seven. So ten and seven it should be seventeen, not eighteen. <clears throat> 